Hey, what's up, Falcons fans? I am DJ Shockley. Thank you guys for always joining me. This is Falcon Film Review presented by Microsoft Service. And today we're talking about Taylor Heineke, the decision making, the accuracy, the things he does post snap that helps him be successful pre snap is really important. But I got a couple plays I'm going to show you from the last game versus the Colts that he did a really good job of not one just distributing the football, but putting it in a place where his guys can go make plays with it. Let's jump into some of these plays and look at exactly exactly what he did well in this ball game. So this is the, a, a third down play here to Scotty Miller here. Scotty Miller is at the top of your screen here, but the guys I want you to pay attention to on this particular play are three particular guys. You got this linebacker here, you got this guy who's playing like a nickel kind of guy, and then you got this safety in the middle of the field. So right now, it looks like it's single high safety. So pre-snap single high safety, that takes the mindset of, okay, where else should I go with the football because it's single high as opposed to what it's going to turn into, which is too high. So to snap of the ball, this is what's gonna happen. He's gonna come inside and he's gonna play this inside middle linebacker in a, like we call, Tampa two coverage in the middle of the field. But then you got this safety who's in the middle of the field, he's gonna go to a cover two. This safety here, he is actually going to nickel guy, is gonna go to a cover two. So now the holes in the, the voided area in this particular defense will be in the middle of the field. You have this outside area out here as well. You have the outside area, but also you have these underneath hook to flat areas. And this is where Scotty Miller is gonna catch this first down here, but watch what happens at the line of scrimmage here. Now you see Scotty at the top. Now watch Taylor's eyes here. His eyes go to the left. He's trying to check it out, but look what happened. The coverage has changed now. I told you about that. Here's that linebacker. Here's that safety. Here's that safety. Now you have this cover two look, but remember the voided area I talked about. This is the voided area that you like right here. Voided area here, voided area here, over the middle of the field, also in the middle of the field as well. But watch what he does with his eyes. He know he wants to throw this one. So he's gonna move this defender with his eyes by looking this way. And then the timing of it, once he lets his football go, boom, easy completion. Now you have another 15 yard gain because he did such a good job with his eyes, moving the backer, and then accurately with a great decision making, putting that ball on Scotty Miller. Let's jump into the next play here. Kyle Pitts here. This is the touchdown play that I thought was really, really well drawn out, but also a very good throw here from Taylor Heineke. Now this is a smash concept. Smash concept is basically you have a flat, a guy in the flat, and you have a corner route. And this two particular route here, Drake's gonna run the flat route, however you get to it. I love the condensed formation because it forces his corner to play off. Now it gives an idea to the quarterback, okay, if he comes up, guess what? I have a corner route. If he stays back, I can throw the flat route. And he does a good job of reading it out. And I love the way, the way it's designed. Now the guy that you have to pay attention to is this particular nickel back here. He's the guy who could disrupt this or this corner depending on how he plays this flat route from Drake. Now let's watch how it unfolds. Smash concept. Jeff Jaw with his eyes here. So now you can see here, this is taken away. This corner is up, he's up. This is the only guy now that can take this away is this particular defender. If he gets too much depth here, it's gonna make this a tougher throw. But Kyle does such a good job of taking what we call a high angle, high angle pylon throw, and this ball should be dropped right here in the end zone in this particular area over the outstretched arms. Now watch the other thing is, when he lets this football go. Kyle is nowhere near the end zone once he lets his football go. Boom, lets it go here. He let it go when Kyle's on the 10 yard line. You can see the ball in the air now, and you can see Kyle has the angle on him. He does a good job of taking this higher angle, and like I mentioned, we're gonna hit this voided area back here where, because the corner is already up, this is the only guy that can take it away, but this is a very good read from Taylor Heineke, understanding right away where this football should go, but then accurately laying it to his Receiver and Kyle and land it, and what a beautiful play there. And ends up in six points for the good guys in the Falcons. Another really good play here from Taylor Heineke, but also because of what you were able to do running the football in this ball game. You ran the football really efficiently. When you have good run game, you can have good play action. Now watch, Kyle's gonna start over here. And he's gonna come in motion. Usually when a guy goes in motion and you see a guy go with him, you see this guy go with him, Usually that tells you you got man coverage. Man coverage tells you, okay, good, I like this because Kyle's gonna run an over route from one side to the other. So once he comes across here on this over route here in motion, when he comes across and then he's gonna run a deep over route, this guy should have him in man coverage. So as he comes across here, because you can see the eyes of this defender. The eyes of this defender is looking right at Kyle. So that's telling you, I got him man coverage. 
that's another indication for the quarterback to say, all right, I know he's going to run away from coverage. When he runs away from coverage, this is a really good route. But because you have ran the football so well, it creates an even bigger hole for you to throw the football. Now watch what happens on the snap of this football. Watch the linebackers here. Look at all of them getting downhill. Look at all these guys downhill, 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 eyes in the backfield. Remember this guy who had Kyle and man coverage? Look at his eyes. His eyes are looking in the backfield here because of the play action, because the Falcons do such a good job and it's backed up. Falcons have struggled at times on backed up situations. This is a great call backed up and this is a great execution. Kyle's gonna have a big voided area right over here to catch this football in and he does a good job of staying level, but then the catch at the end is beautiful. Land it to him, not put it on the line where a guy can knock it down. Kyle makes an unbelievable catch and another great decision to get this ball off your end line and to make a good play from the Falcons on that particular play here. Now this is a, a play that I love. It's very simple, not much happens in it, but it turns into a 11 yard gain because of the quick decision making from Tyler, from Taylor Heineke. Now what happens here is the guys you got to pay attention to are these two backers here. You got these guys in the flat. You're gonna get a simple, just flat route out of here by Bijan Robinson. Now, if any one of these guys flow out here to Bijan, guess what? Some mess is gonna be open over here. But because of the quick decision making of these guys just holding off in their zone, now you get the football out quickly enough and you can give him a chance to make a play in space. So let's watch. There's Bijan coming out of the backfield. Now, watch these backers. Now, these are the guys I told you, you gotta pay attention to. This is the guy that you're really playing off of. Does a good job of taking his eyes away by his release. Now you got a vertical stem and he's gonna take him away. This is the guy you gotta worry about. If this guy goes this way, or if he stays here in this little hook zone, guess what? That's why he's open right now. And the quicker you get him the football in space, he can do things like this. Now look how quickly he does. He looks at that guy, he stays inside. Now the ball's already out. Now he has leverage. Look at the leverage he has. Look at the space he has in between this backer. 13 yards for B. John Robinson is like an eternity of space because we know what he can do with the ball in space. Does such a great job of getting him the football in space. And now look at that. 11 yards later, another big gain on just a simple flare out. This is exactly what you like to do. An unbelievable job there. Last play here. You love to see it. Here's Drake London on the outside. And this is the timing you like here. Another job of the play action. Now look what the play action does again. The play action forces these linebackers up in the pocket, forcing these guys up. This is a guy who you have to read. If he gets too much depth, this is where he's gonna come in and he's gonna sit it down right in front of him. But the timing has to be perfect. Watch when Taylor lets this football go. One hitch and the ball's out. Look at the timing on that. Let's run it back one more time. The timing on this particular play is so pivotal. You're talking about rhythm throws. Sometimes you say rhythm throws, it's a hitch and you're coming up and that's a perfectly what you want here. Drake's gonna run a little hook route, but watch this. Watch, I want to see, watch at the top of his drop. He takes one hitch and the ball's out. If he takes any other hitches, guess what? The ball can be picked off or knocked down, but watch how many guys are around him. One hitch, boom, ball's out. When he lets this ball go, look how many guys are coming to the rescue to try to get to this football. You're gonna have four guys around. In the National Football League, this is open. It looks like a tight window, but because of the timing and the accuracy of the ball, it creates a huge play. And now guess what? You have a 16 yard completion and a nice job there of getting to his depth, but even better job with Taylor Heineke. Taylor Heineke led this offense phenomenally last weekend. And this is the kind of plays you like to see from your quarterback. Accuracy on time, great decisions, and getting the ball to your decision makers. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching Falcons Film Review presented by Microsoft Surface. I'm DJ Shockley. Thank you guys for joining me. We'll see you next week.